Step 1. Mount the coalescing filter. Remove the two lock nuts that hold the U-bolt on the bracket. Wrap the U-bolt around the standing T-fitting that rises out of the air tank. Slide the coalescing filter bracket onto the threads. Use your fingers to thread the nuts evenly. For the most secure fit, place the back of the bracket against a flat side of the standing T-fitting. Then use a 7 16 inch wrench to tighten both nuts. Step 2. Install the regulator filter. Align the filter with the T-fitting and thread the pipe nut onto the filter. Use a wrench to tighten the nut. Do not over tighten. Step 3. Install the reservoir bottle. Push the bowl drain hose into the hole in the cap of the reservoir bottle. Place the bottle on a solid surface in an upright position. Step 4. Add oil to the compressor. Open the provided bottle of Silent Air synthetic oil and attach the applicator spout. Remove the red plug on the air intake opening and read the attached notice. This plug must be removed and air filter installed before starting the compressor. Carefully add oil through either the intake opening or the plug at the top of the compressor head marked oil. Make sure to add the correct amount of oil. Check the oil level on the sight glass located by the T-fitting. The oil should be at the halfway mark. Step 5. Install the air intake filter. Thread the filter onto the air intake opening. Step 6. Attach the auxiliary cooling fan. Mount the fan on the handle post of your compressor. Use the U-bolts to secure the fan to the handle post. The white nylon washers are used as spacers as needed for smaller diameter posts to tighten the fan in place. Tighten the nuts on the U-bolts with a 7 16 inch wrench, making sure the fan is directed at the compressor head, not away from it. Step 7. Connect the buffer hose. Connect one end of the buffer hose to the 90 degree push to connect fitting on the coalescing filter. Connect the other end of the buffer air hose to the 90 degree push to connect fitting on the regulator filter. Step 8. Connect the compressor to the engraving system. Two sets of hoses are included with your compressor. A replacement buffer hose for around the compressor pump head and a 50-foot hose for connecting the compressor to the engraving system. First, remove the supplied fitting from the 50-foot hose. Attach one end of the hose to the straight push-to-connect fitting on the compressor's coalescing filter. Attach the other end to the 90-degree push-to-connect fitting on the engraving system. Use the whole 50 foot of hose and coil the excess. The excess hose provides an opportunity to prevent oil from reaching the engraving system. Check the excess coiled hose frequently for oil buildup. If oil buildup is present, contact GRS or your local authorized GRS dealer for assistance. 